G'day. Every F1 driver has a trainer. Well, some have more than one. Some specialise in physical training, performance coaching, others in physiotherapy or even osteopathy. But they all share a special bond with their driver and they are probably the closest person in the paddock to that driver. And this year there's been some movement on the trainer front, so let me introduce you to all the F1 driver's trainers. <laughs> Let's kick it off with Max Verstappen. He started in F1 with Jake Allica. In 2019, Bradley Skeynes took over the role, and this year, Brad's been replaced by Carlos's old trainer, Rupert Mannering. Rupert is a performance coach and sports therapist. He's likeable, calm, always smiley, and one of his most enjoyable tasks has been rounding up Carlos's prizes post-race and returning them to the driver's room. Expect him to be doing a lot more of that in season 2024 for Max. Sergio Perez, does he have a trainer? Well, he has two. Xavi Martos and Jose Canale, both are Mexican, and they split the races between them. They also train other athletes, but come race weekend, whoever it is on duty with Checo has his full attention. And what does a trainer typically do? Well, it's a whole host of activities, and it would include arriving after sessions with a towel, a drink, a cap, and a watch. And if there's no PR person, they'll often escort them to the media panel press conference. Yes, they have to ensure their driver is fit and is at the correct weight, that's important. On top of that, they'll often act as security. They'll liaise with the press crew about where a driver needs to be and at what time. And come track sessions, they'll be either on the two-way radio or standing next to the car waiting for the driver to go out. Next up, Daniel Ricciardo. He's partnered with Piru Salmela from Finland. Piru trained Pierre Gasly for his time at Alpha Tauri and Red Bull. Last year, he started with Nick De Vries, but took over training Daniel when Daniel returned mid-year. Now, I've actually trained with Piru a couple of years ago for a video. There's a link in the description below. Next up, Yuki Sonoda. He used to work with Daniel Ricciardo's old trainer, Michael Italiano. That was in 2023. Michael's now working in the IPL Cricket League with the Rajasthan Royals. So this year, Yuki's teamed up with British coach John Noonan. He's married with three children. He's done a bit too. He's worked with Cirque du Soleil, Chelsea and Everton football clubs in England, and the European Golf Tour. And he comes to Yuki from a stint working with Frederick Vesti, who's the reserve driver for Mercedes. Who works with Charles Leclerc, I hear you cry. Well, it's Andrea, Andrea Ferrari, working for Ferrari. Did you know that Ferrari is the third most popular surname in Italy? He's been alongside Charles since he entered F1, and I often see the pair warming up prior to sessions and races, either skipping rope or kicking a football about, normally behind the hospitality suite. Given that Rupert Mannering has gone to work with Max Verstappen, who has taken over with Carlos Sainz? That's 30-year-old Italian Pierluigi Della Bona. He's new to F1, certainly stands out in the paddock. I met him on the first day at testing in Bahrain this year, and he is a powerful-looking lad with an impressive head of hair, impeccably styled. This is Alex Albon's trainer, Patrick Harding. He trains boxers and was the lead physio for Team GB in Rio and Tokyo, where he had to part to play in the team winning two gold, two silver and a bronze medal. After Rio, he went to Arsenal and even played Gaelic football at the top level. Without doubt, Patrick has the thickest beard in the paddock. Now, Logan Sargent, he used to work with Australian trainer Benny Jacobs, but uh, Benny's bowed out and will be working with a handful of other non-F1 drivers in the UK. Replacing him is this man, Elias Hutenen from Finland. He's into CrossFit and he's competed on a national level in Finland. This is his first foray into the world of Formula One and he'll be hoping that Logan continues to improve and has his contract renewed in 2025. On to Lewis Hamilton now and for all my time in the sport, he has worked with Angela Cullen, but that association ended last year. She had the highest profile of this group by a mile, but after last year's first race in Bahrain, the pair announced via synchronised Insta posts that they'd be parting ways. She was replaced by Kylie Tomic, who's back with Lewis again this year. And where is Kylie from? Right here in Western Australia, Perth, to be exact. Apart from the training and the physical side of things, Kylie also is responsible for making sure that Lewis is well fed and hydrated at the track. You might have seen this fellow next to George Russell on F1 telecasts. This is Aleish Casanovas. He grew up near Barcelona, took to racing motorcycles at a high level in his 20s, but an injury put paid to that career, so he decided to study sports sciences at uni. Since then, he's worked with motorcycle riders, cyclists, runners, figure skaters, and basketballers, but nothing 
as high profile as working alongside George Russell. Aleish is a top bloke with a good sense of humour who started with George when he won the GP3 title with ART and this year will be the ninth year of the partnership. Another one of a trainer's duties is to ensure that their drivers are properly fed and they with the kitchen over driver's meals. So what typically does a driver eat at the track? I asked Kimmy's old trainer Mark Arnold what he would typically eat for breakfast. He responded, oats, chia seeds, MCT oil and oat milk for brekkie. Plus he'd add real cinnamon, which helped with blood sugar control and metabolism, and some crushed nuts. For lunch, popular option was grilled salmon for protein, quinoa, avocado, and a combination of vegetables. And Kimmy would take regular ginger shots daily. Perhaps I should be eating that. Next up, let me introduce you to Tom Clark, Esteban Ocon's trainer. Is he British? Of course he is. Most of the trainers you are going to meet here on this video are British. Apart from ensuring Esteban is fit and physically healthy, he's also responsible for keeping his driver mentally on track and focused. Most of the trainers I've spoken to say they allow their driver a 24 window post race to either celebrate a great event or brood over a poor result. But after that, it's back to work and they call the shots. Pierre Gasly swapped trainers last year when he moved to Alpine. He's now working with Brit Ben Thorne. You might have seen Ben's face in the paddock before. That's because he spent the previous two years with Mick Schumacher and previously a season with Nikita Mazepin. This is a pretty closed industry and most of the trainers you're meeting here today come from a company called Hinsa. They have a long history with motorsport and tend to provide most of the teams with their drivers trainers. Meet John Malvin, he's worked with Lando Norris for more than nine years, and that's John without an H. He's an exercise physiologist, a researcher, and strength and conditioning coach. Have you spotted his pioneered athletic performance logo on the back of Lando's helmet? There it is. Of course, John's fit, supremely fit, but has it always been the case? In his teams, he was massively overweight, he tells me. But he changed his ways, and look at him now. Last year, we got Australian trainer Kim Keedle back in the paddock. He works with Oscar Piastri, but previously worked with Roman Grosjean. Kim, like me, is an Australian. He's the tallest trainer of the lot, hails from Melbourne, and is quite a character. And a ladies' man, so he tells me. Antti Ferula is one of two Finnish trainers in the paddock, the other one being Piru, who you met earlier. And he trains Finnish driver Valtteri Bottas. Apart from ensuring Valtteri's strength and fitness, he also looks after some of the commercial activities for Valtteri, like Valtteri's recent watch collaboration. And speaking of collaborations, there are still some of these signed Valtteri Bottas prints available. You can get onto kimelman.com, go to my shop, and find those available for delivery to most countries around the world. Valtteri's teammate is Joe Guan Yu, and his trainer is osteopath Matteo Orsi, who used to be a physiotherapist with Ferrari going back a couple of decades ago. There's a handful of drivers left, so next we'll go to Lance Stroll, huh? He works with the Brit, Henry Howe. Henry started working with Lance in 2021. He took over from Nico Hulkenberg's trainer, Martin Poole, who did one year with Lance in 2020, the COVID year. Henry and Lance have a great relationship, despite that incident in Qatar last year, when he appeared to push his trainer after quali. And like Zhou Guan Yu's trainer, Henry is also an osteopath. Next up, two drivers with two trainers each, starting with Danish driver, Kevin Magnussen, Thomas Jorgensen, and Nikolai Madsen, other two that work with Kevin. Thomas has been with Kevin since he started F1, with Nikolai joining him in 2022. And both of those gentlemen are Danish, like Kevin. The oldest driver in the field, Fernando Alonso, has two trainers, has done for all of the time that I've known him. This is Eduardo Bendinelli, and this is Fabrizio Bora. The pair share the training role. I'm guessing about 50-50. And the final trainer in this group is British trainer Martin Poole. Martin worked with Nico Hulkenberg from 2016 to 2019. Then he moved to Aston Martin in 2020, trained with Stroll in 2021, sat out 2022, and returned to work with Nico at Haas in 2023. This year, he's by his side again. And what do these trainers actually do at the track? Well, it's a variety of activities, and it will span setting up the driver's room on a Thursday with their balaclavas, gloves, race suits, shoes, socks, fireproof underwear, helmets, and hands devices. They organise the meals for their drivers from the team kitchen, accompany them in the garage, get them to and from the track, often driving the car for them, road car, and virtually do everything needed to ensure that their driver focuses on the actual task of driving on track. Well, next time you spot one of these people on the TV broadcasts, you'll know a little bit more about them. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and about half of you, for some reason, have not subscribed. Here's your opportunity to remedy that. And over here, 
you'll find a whole host of very interesting content, merchandise, and stuff. Thanks for watching, stay passionate. He's married with, he's,